here in Indianapolis, veterans decorated a memorial grave representing all of the Indiana soldiers and sailors who have died in war. And as News 8's Laura Jones tells us, those remembrances go beyond special celebrations. Many laid wreaths and flags at the actual grave site. The last time. Janie Byland of Indianapolis makes her final trek before moving out of state to her father's and stepfather's grave. Both served in World War I. Neither was killed during the war, but Byland still places an American flag on each of their graves. Number one, I'm very patriotic. And I'm leaving all this, but I do this at a time anyway. I think it's a time that it brings everybody to realization that these people gave up their lives or served their time in the service so that we could have this free country. While this holiday weekend is a time for family and friends, families of fallen soldiers take time out to remember what their loved one did to help preserve freedom. The 11th District Veterans of Foreign Wars remembered fallen soldiers today at the War Memorial. It's uh, very important to me. It's um, something we have to honor. I'm a veteran of Vietnam, and we have to celebrate it. And uh, I feel very honored about being able to celebrate it on the 30th day, whether it be race day or not. Diane Pettit served 10 months in Saudi Arabia. She mourns the loss of soldiers in Desert Storm. Probably a lot more people should stop and remember things like that rather than just the race and the three-day weekends and picnics. But I think it's, it's a day that we should really stop and think about what we have because those people gave their lives. The veterans took a moment to silently salute their comrades, salutes of gratitude for the soldiers' valor and blood. Laura Jones, Wish TV, News 8. And Memorial Day services are to be held throughout the city tomorrow.